Welcome to Star Stories, a collection of the moments that connect us all to something greater than ourselves, the night sky. This is Amy C. Oliver, visitor and science center manager at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory and your host. Sometimes the greatest joys we find in the night sky are not necessarily the ones that have us looking up. Instead, they come from sharing the night sky with others. For Thomas Campbell, a NASA JPL Solar System Ambassador from Brazos County, Texas, sharing the night sky and the wonders of the universe is as life-changing as discovering planets, stars, and other celestial objects anew. An avid amateur astronomer, Thomas relies on his telescope to see what's out there and to share it, not only making his own memories, but opening the door for night sky connections to thousands of others who may otherwise have never learned about or seen the solar system and the universe magnified. Here's a nod to creating and enabling night sky connections for others in Thomas Campbell's beautiful abilities. A couple years ago, my astronomy club was invited by an organization named Beautiful Abilities to show off the stars to a group of adult special needs campers. The campsite was several miles out of the country, which would be great for observing. By the time I arrived, the sun was setting and a couple of club members were already there. One was indoors with the campers doing simple science demonstrations. Her audience was enthralled with the experiments and were also getting excited about what they would see later through the telescopes. I watched for a bit, but it was getting dark fast, and I needed to go outside and get my telescope set up. Before I could finish, one of the campers came up to me and started a conversation. She introduced herself and then asked what I was doing. I explained that I was setting up my telescope for tonight. What's a telescope? It helps you to see the stars and planets real close. Oh, Can I take a look? Well, the stars aren't out yet, but you can look at the telescope if you want. She came closer, and I let her see her reflection in the primary mirror. She enjoyed that and kept me company, making small talk while I finished getting ready. By now, the demonstrations were finished and everyone was coming outside. A couple other members set up their telescopes as we waited for dark. Venus was the first object to appear, and she was shining regally in the deepening blue sky. As a crowd gathered, I attached my phone to the eyepiece to show the planet to several at once. I adjusted the camera settings so everyone would get the best view possible. Jupiter was next. Everyone was impressed with getting to see its cloud bands and moons. I then swung around to Zubinel Ganubi, a double star. Most had never heard of a binary star system before, and were amazed that one sun could orbit another. One of the campers came up to me at this point and said, I have vision trouble, and it was difficult to see through the eyepiece of the other telescopes, so I'm glad I can look through your camera to see things. It made things much easier for her. We viewed several more objects that night. Most of the campers never had an opportunity to look through a telescope before and were very excited about what they were seeing. Before leaving, one of the campers told me, I have always loved the stars, but I learned more about them tonight than I have in my whole life. This was a night neither of us would forget. Star stories bring us together because they tell us something about ourselves. They let us know that no matter what is happening in the world around us, we all have something in common. Our awe for, wonder in, and appreciation of the night sky. To submit your own star story for inclusion in this collection, send 200 to 300 words detailing your first, best, or most important interaction with the night sky to Whipple Science Center at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. And as always, keep looking up.